If you want to make delicious venison sliders with minimal effort that are sure to impress, you've come to the right place. Hey ladies and gents, if we haven't met yet, I'm Junie the Orange Huntress. Today I'm going to show you how to easily make amazing venison sliders that are sure to have your guests coming back for more. These awesome appetizers can also work great for your kids lunches or to even just pop on some rice or potatoes. All the ingredients and instructions are going to be down in the description below so be sure to check that out. Well uh, I'm going to go grab my crock pot so we can get started. I'm working with a top round roast today. I'm going to come through and cut off all the silver skin and anything that's discolored. I really wanted to use this cut of meat because there's not a lot of connective tissue in this piece. This is also a great piece for making jerky. I seasoned the meat with salt and pepper on both sides to get it ready to sear. This cut of meat is probably around 2 pounds. I decided to use my coated cast iron pan today, just as something different because it gives a really nice sear. I put 2 tablespoons of olive oil in, and that sound means it's ready. And this is the best part. Once that had a nice color, I flipped it over and let it do the same thing on the other side. By searing, you trap all the moisture and flavors within the meat. Really, it just makes everything better. I then transferred it to my crock pot and began to mix up my ingredients. We're gonna start with some chicken broth, apple cider vinegar, Pineapple juice from the can because we're also going to need some pineapples. Some soy sauce, Worcestershire, garlic and onion powder, the tiniest little bit of liquid smoke, and some brown sugar. Once everything is well combined, then you can add it to your crock pot. See, we need some pineapple. I closed everything up and set the temperature to high for four hours. Or you could do low for eight. Once I was done scrolling Facebook and doing laundry, it was time to pull this meat apart. I wanted the sauce to be thicker, so I ended up using three tablespoons of cornstarch to three tablespoons of water. Mixed it in, set the temperature to high, and added three tablespoons of butter. After the meat had a chance to rest, I began to pull it apart, and this was the most fun. And because it didn't have connective tissue throughout it, it pulled apart really, really easily. I then threw the meat back in the sauce. I left it for about half an hour or so, and then it was nice and thick. I decided to use these cute little dinner rolls. They taste amazing by themselves, and I knew they would just taste so good with this recipe. Butter the inside of the buns and pop them in the pan just like you would grilled cheese. Don't walk away, they toast pretty fast. When you're ready to assemble, you could use some dill pickles or some coleslaw, but honestly, it was so good just as it was. Thanks so much for joining me today. I am so glad that I could share this recipe with you. If you liked what you saw today, why don't you subscribe? That way you're not gonna miss any more videos. Catch you next Wednesday.